This is the only method you should ever use to play Link's Awakening Deluxe ever again. This is an unofficial PC remake of Link's Awakening, more specifically Link's Awakening Deluxe for the Game Boy Color, and it runs excellently on just about any PC. But we're not talking about any PC here, we're talking about the Steam Deck. Link's Awakening is a true masterpiece. I still think it's worth getting an original Game Boy or a Game Boy Color for. But that's not strictly necessary anymore with these fan ports. This is truly a labor of love for one of the greatest games ever made. Fun fact, you can run the Switch exclusive remake on the Steam Deck as well. This comes courtesy from the Deck vs Guide on Overkill.wtf. So if you want a written version of that guide, be sure to click that link down below. And if you like this video or any other video I do, be sure to press like and subscribe to the channel, that way I know I'm doing good. So first to begin, you have to download the game from itch.io. If you google the game's title, it doesn't show up as the first result for some reason, so you'll have to look out for the game's itch.io page. As you can see here, it's developed by Link's Awakening DXHD. Download the game, and then you'll want to extract it to your directory of choice. For the purposes of this video, Link's Awakening Deluxe HD is on my SSD, but this tutorial will work the exact same if it was on your SD card. You'll then want to go into the game directory, right-click the game's executable file, and press Add to Steam. This will add the game to your Steam library. Unfortunately though, we haven't really begun, because you'll need to download two specific programs on your Steam Deck. You'll first want to search for Proton Tricks, all one word. I already have Proton Tricks installed, so just go ahead and install it if you don't already. You will also need to install an application called Proton Up QT. Proton Up is one word, dash and then QT. You can install it by pressing the install button very easily. Both of these applications are very necessary, and I will explain why in a bit. First, you will want to launch Proton Up QT. If you just installed it from the Discover app, you can press that launch button right there. It's at the top right corner. This is Proton Up QT. Its primary purpose here is to download Proton GE. So go ahead and press Add Version and select the latest version of Proton GE. As you can see here, the latest version here is GE Proton 8-25. Press install to begin the installation. It shouldn't take too long to install, but it may take some time depending on your download speeds. Once it finishes downloading and extracting Proton GE, you know, you can see the progress bar down there, it'll show up as a compatibility tool in that window. Just give it a second. Yeah, see? It shows up right there, as unused. So next you'll want to launch your Steam library and then you'll want to search for Link's Awakening. If you have a ton of games like I do, you'll likely want to search for it instead. Click on the search bar and type in Link's Awakening. You'll see Link's Awakening DXHD.exe. Uh, that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's change the name to something more palatable, like The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DXHD. You want to go to compatibility and press force the use of a specific Steam compatibility tool. As you can see here, Proton GE does not immediately show up. Unfortunately, the written guide doesn't mention this, and I hope that they'll edit it to include this little tidbit as well. Basically, to get Proton GE to show up, you will have to restart Steam. You can restart Steam by exiting out of Steam, it really isn't that complicated. And then subsequently reload Steam. Once you do so, you can right click the game and then go to compatibility and change to the Proton GE 8-25. Now press play. Immediately you'll notice this little error message. To run this application, you must install .NET Desktop Runtime 6.0.5x64. Would you like to download it now? Click yes. It will launch this Microsoft page automatically. You will need to download the .NET desktop runtime. You can click here to download manually and you'll have an EXE installer. You can't really use this by itself though, unfortunately. Right click this new EXE, open with Proton Tricks Launcher, and then select your non-Steam shortcut. You may notice this error message. It is in fact quite easy to resolve. To resolve this, you'll want to go into Settings, and then scroll down to Applications, Flatpak Permission Settings, Proton Tricks, and then you'll want to add whatever directory you installed Link's Awakening to. In my case, my games directory wasn't actually accessible by Proton Tricks. What you need to do is scroll up and press Add New to File System Access. 
press that browse button and select whatever folder that you have games installed to. Like my slash home slash deck slash games folder was not accessible by Proton Tricks. Now right click the installer, press open with Proton Tricks launcher, select your non Steam shortcut, it should say The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and then continue with the installer like you should. Just press the install button and you're good to go. Press close and now try launching the game directly. Now as you can see here, the game works beautifully. It works perfectly, it's basically as good as it could be. But the more interesting question is, how does the game run in game mode? Now let's try launching this HD remake. So as you can see here, it works. It works perfectly. It's beautiful. It works in game mode like you expect it to. It runs at very low power. All you really need is 5 watts to get it going, and you're good to go. This remake is very interesting because it's a full-on HD remake, completely rebuilt from the ground up. It's basically the entire game as you remember it. Now I will say I've never played the Game Boy Color version of Link's Awakening. The version I had was in Game Boy Monochrome because I had it for the original Game Boy. It has a lot of modern amenities. It's got full native full screen support for multiple different resolutions and aspect ratios. It's got 16x9 support, 16x10 support, 4x3 support. Heck, I've even tried this on my ultra wide 21x9 aspect ratio monitor and it displays and fills up the entire screen. You can also zoom out the entire game if so desired, which may not be a great idea given how small everything becomes, but it's something you can do. But you may have noticed, the game has no actual art assets. How do we fix this? Well, there's a great website called Proton Grid DB, which hosts a lot of different art assets for different non-Steam games. Assets you can add to your Steam client so that the game looks nicer. But you will need five different types of art assets. You'll want both a vertical and horizontal Steam grid. You'll also want what's called a hero, which is basically a background. You'll also want a logo and icon. Each art asset has multiple different styles. You can pick whatever icons you want. So I'm just gonna pick those icons that I displayed for you guys. As you can see here, I have these images prepared already, but you will need to do the prep work yourself. To replace the game's icon, you'll want to right click it and press properties. When properties shows up, press this blank box right here. This will prompt you to select an image of some sort. Browse to where your images are and select your icon of choice and then you can exit out immediately. To replace the horizontal box art, you'll want to launch the game and have it be your latest game. You'll want to then right click the game, and then press manage, and then press set custom artwork. For whatever reason, it defaults to JPEG filters, but you can select PNGs. Select your artwork and now you're ready to move on. To change the game's vertical artwork, you'll want to find the game somewhere in your library. Once you find it, you'll want to right click and press manage and press set custom artwork. Again, you can select any PNG you want. Select the vertical artwork and you've got that down. You'll then want to right click this area to press select custom background. You'll then want to select your background of choice. And then you'll want to right click again, set custom logo, and select your custom logo. And yes, you finished manually changing the artwork. Are there more convenient methods? There are, but I'll have to show you how to do those later. All of your changes also show up in game mode as well. See? Oh, you can see all of this artwork and it's amazing. It feels like you actually have like a legit game that was brought over to Steam. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.